Hi Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn Earth signs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to ask, will what you've been manifesting come true? To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 19th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 6.50 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. But if you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Okay, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Will what they have been manifesting come true? The Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So yes, the answer is yes, okay? Um, I'm not feeling too well, so I <laughs> just want to let you know that. Uh, please bear with me, okay? I'm going to go slow with this reading. Wheel of Fortune being the only major arcana in an upright position definitely is a yes, okay? And the devil here is also... It's also a major kind, but it's in reverse, which is good <laughs> that it's in reverse. Um, and with the seven of wands, two of wands here in reverse. It feels like, hmm, it feels like you will have to fight very, very hard for this to come true. Um, but the seven of wands also can indicate you needing to stand your ground, needing to believe in what you've been trying to manifest, right? So someone wants, like, I'm not budging, okay? This is my space. I've created this space for me. Um, and, and I'm going to fight. And I'm going to fight till the end to claim this whatever that you have been trying to manifest, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, my throat actually hurts and I've been coughing. But anyway, not a ones being the first card that came out for me. This indicates drive passion if you're passionate passionate enough if you're driven enough you can make it happen okay and the wheel of fortune is also a very lucky card so you know it also can indicate divine timing so when the time is right it's almost like being in the right place at the right time um or for some of you you know some cards here are in reverse so it can indicate there is going to be a bit of a delay, but when the time is right, it can happen. It will happen, okay? Because Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> it's like, a, again, a very lucky card. So you're going to get lucky. Uh, you're going to feel lucky when this happens, when, when, when it becomes a reality, whatever you've been trying to manifest, okay? Hmm. And the two of pentacles here, this... You know, when this card came out, I was like, okay, 50-50 chance. 50-50 chance that this, whatever you've been trying to manifest, can come true. Um, I feel like, you know, sometimes whatever we've been trying to manifest, we have to meet the universe in the middle. We have to put in effort. The seven of wands indicates effort as well. So perhaps for some of you, if you put in enough effort into it, then, you know, it's going to happen, the will of fortune. And then the universe will deem you ready for this. Yeah, and that's what I'm seeing here. And we've got page of wands, you know, messenger that when in an upright position, it indicates good news. You know, page of wands, bearer of good news. So good news coming in, that means whatever you've been trying to manifest is going to come true. Of some of you, it could be you trying to manifest a lifestyle where you get to travel and work. Uh, that's for some of you, okay? If that's what you've been trying to manifest. But for some of you, it's 
meeting the love of your life. But if you're single, okay, if you're single, if you've been trying to manifest the partner, the right partner for you, that is not toxic, the devil in my verse, um, that's going to come true. But what I'm seeing here is that perhaps whoever you've been trying to manifest uh, in your love life will be someone completely different okay completely different maybe that's what you've been wanting to someone completely different from the your past uh failed relationships okay nine of cups and lovers not just it, it you know the nine of ones the nine of action someone who does things right not just say but doing it um again fire is like action um passion drive so that means and look at the the horse here the horse is like jumping up in the air so so this for me indicates you know someone for those of you who've been trying to manifest a love partner that's gonna do something that they say they're gonna do perhaps some of you you may have encountered you may have encountered um people your ex-partners who would just, you know, sweet talk, <laughs> be all romantic, but don't really take actions, right? That's just for some of you, okay? And the Ten of Pentacles here is in my first. But, you know, Two of Pentacles right next to the Ten of Pentacles, it just feels like some of you, it's your choice too, you know? It's your choice if this is what you want. If you don't want it, if you're not allowing you know, that's why it's so important when you, when you try to manifest something, you have to manifest with an open heart, right? You have to be open to receiving it. But if you're doubting it, two of pentacles, if you're doubting it, if you are not even sure if that's what you really want, then it's going to take much longer for it to happen, okay? Well, that's definitely something that I'm seeing here. And we've got the nine of wands here in my verse. Yeah, basically putting your guards down and stop thinking negative things about it, right? The devil can be negative. Uh, would it be reverse can indicate you needing to release yourself from any negative thoughts, jadedness, right? And if you're open, again, that's going to happen, whatever you've been trying to manifest. And two of wands here is in my verse. See, another card that indicates it is actually your choice, right? If you want this, how bad do you want this? <laughs> how bad do you want this? Some of you may be afraid, right? And I don't want some of verse. Um, it feels a bit like I'm also an earth sign. I'm just giving an example. Um, every time when I feel like, yeah... I, I want somebody who who will be there for me, someone I want to see every single day, spend my life with, travel with me and whatnot. <laughs> but then when there's someone who's like willing, like right in front of me to marry me and to do all these things with me, I just go like, um, I'm not sure if this is what I want. Like, uh-oh, you know, like some of you, you might have, like cold feet, right? Because I've been looking at the feet, this person, you know, wearing a different pair of shoes. Because, okay, I'll tell you the story behind this 701s. Yeah. So, this person was caught off guard, right? Somebody is about to attack this person. So, he or she just doesn't matter. He or she, not gender specific, just wakes up and straight away wear whatever shoes you know doesn't because he or she was being caught off guard so but whatever the case is it's almost like even if i'm not comfortable i'm going to um, defend whatever i'm trying to defend here myself or my area my space so this for me indicates, you know, for some of you, if you've been trying to manifest something, but then when it happens, you your guards are up, like, wait a minute, 
I'm not so sure if I want this. I'm not so sure if I want you to be in my space right now. Um, it's almost like you've been trying to manifest it and also at the same time not sure if it's going to happen or not. But when it happens, it might catch you off guard. And you might feel as though, like, okay, I'm not even sure if I'm ready for this one, for this thing. So this is just for some of you, okay? Not all of you. Because again, the Seven of Wands is a very guarded energy. So some of you, if you want to manifest something, if you've been manifesting something, been trying to, you have to really open up, right? Release these negative thoughts, negative uh, assumptions, perceptions about whatever that you want to manifest. Maybe, you know, not once yet lovers can indicate you've been hurt before, right? Maybe you've been hurt before. Maybe somebody says something, but then they're not going to do it. They're not, they're not keeping their promises. And the Ten of Pentacles and my first, some of you may have thought, you know, being with someone or some, it could be anything, yeah? Ten of Pentacles, that, oh, this is going to be forever, and then it didn't happen. So the Two Pentacles, this is why I feel like it's, you know, 50-50 chance. Um, for 50% of you, maybe the Wheel of Fortune, here, if you're open to it, it's going to come true. But if you're, like, halfway, <laughs> if you're, like, halfway through, like, half, I would say half-heartedly, trying to manifest something it will delay it will be delayed or when it's presented to you in front of you you might reject it okay because seven of ones can indicate like hey stay away you know it can indicate rejection as well so at the end of the day it's still your choice all right Frigo Taurus Capcom this is your reading I'm sorry if I sound so bad I feel bad my throat like struggling to speak properly but um if you resonated with this reading don't forget to hit like share and subscribe i am open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description in the description box below and feel free to subscribe to my other channel it's called chelsea vlogs it's my travel channel and for those of you who like to be notified every time when i go live and every time when i post your videos don't forget to hit on the bell notification button all right take care bye